What if Derrick Rose never got injured? Would he have won another MVP? An NBA championship? It's one of those basketball questions that will be debated and pondered over for ages. What if Michael Jordan never retired the first time? What if Leonard Kevin Bias reached his full potential? What if Wilt Chamberlain played in the modern era? What if Derrick Rose never tore his ACL and stayed healthy? That rose that grew from concrete. Drafted first overall by the Bulls in the 2008 NBA Draft, Rose revitalized a struggling organization that was navigating its way through the post-Michael Jordan era. Derrick Rose was born in Inglewood on Chicago's south side, inextricably linking him to the city in a way Michael Jordan never was. Even though it was a very dangerous area to live in, and he was in the middle of gang violence in his neighborhood, he kept a level head and didn't let the streets get in the way of his love for basketball. If there was one player to allow Bulls fans to momentarily forget the former glory of six championships from two decades earlier and genuinely look forward to the future, it was Derrick Rose. He attended Simone Career Academy and played on the JV basketball team as a freshman. He was good enough to play on varsity, but his coach had a tradition of not allowing any freshmen to play on varsity. He averaged 18.5 points, 6.6 .6 assists, 4.7 rebounds, and 2.1 steals for his first season. His sophomore season, he averaged 19.8 points on varsity. His junior season, Rose hit a buzzer beater in the AA state championship game that gave Simeon their first state title since 1984. Headed in his senior season, he was ranked fifth in the nation by Sports Illustrated. The team's games were televised on ESPN as they went up against other powerhouse schools like Oak Hill Academy. Simeon won their second straight title and Rose averaged 25.2 points as a senior. He was named the McDonald's All-American and was named Illinois' Mr. Basketball. Too big, too strong, too fast, and too good. D. Rose, as he is affectionately known in Chicago, was given the moncure the Windy City Assassin and was adaptly described as too big, too strong, too fast, and too good by Bulls TV announcer Stacey King. In addition to his explosive athletic ability, Rose possessed a quiet, humble demeanor that many sports fans found refreshing. The 2009-2010 season began shakily for Rose due to an ankle injury. Despite this, he played well and earned his first All-Star selection as a reserve, becoming the first Bull since Jordan to receive this honor. The team made the playoffs, where Rose averaged 26.8 points and 7.2 assists per game. However, they lost in five games to the Cavaliers. In the 2010-2011 season, D. Rose became the third player to record 2,000 points and 600 assists in a single season since the 1972-73 season. He had an outstanding season and put up a career-high 42 points and also 17 assists on two separate occasions. He voted as the starting point guard in the 2011 All-Star Game and also earned himself the regular season MVP award. MJ was the only other bull to earn it, and he became the youngest player at 22 years and 6 months to win. This season made the Bulls to the Eastern Conference Finals against LeBron and the Heat but ended up losing the series in five short games. He averaged 27.1 points per game in the playoffs. After the high of the previous season, Rose's momentum came to a halt in the 2011-2012 season. He signed a five-year contract extension and was voted as an all-star starter, finishing second in voting. Rose's game was gaining widespread attention. The Bulls made the playoffs, but during Game 1, Rose left the game with a torn ACL, just shy of a triple-double. This injury ended his season and kept him out for the entire 2012-2013 season as well. Although he was cleared to play in March, he chose to take his time with his rehabilitation. During his first three seasons, he collected numerous accolades, Rookie of the Year, All-NBA First Team, and was named an All-Star three times. 
Rose also tried Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record for the most points scored, 36, in a playoff debut as a rookie. His most notable achievement was being awarded most valuable player at the age of 22, the youngest in NBA history. A comparison to Steph Curry and Russell Westbrook. Derrick Rose played 279 regular season games before he tore his ACL in the first round of the 2012 NBA playoffs. Many speculate that if Rose stayed healthy, he would have been in the conversation as one of the greatest point guards of all time. The data shows D. Rose averaged 21 PPG, outscoring both his counterparts over that stretch. Not only did he have a higher PPG by the end of that time frame, but Rose also outplaced both Curry and Westbrook for most of that period. Although Rose was not a pure shooter, especially in the early stages of his career, he still managed to have a field goal percentage on par with Steph Curry at 46.4%. It could have also be argued that Derrick Rose was already a more efficient floor general than these two other MVPs at this particular juncture of their careers. D. Rose had a higher assist to turnover ratio, 2.3, than both Curry, 2.0, and Westbrook, 2.1. Further, Rose had significantly higher plus minus plus 362, more than five times that of Steph Curry, and almost double Russell Westbrook. Derrick Rose also won 63% of the games he played in over that period. Keep in mind that Rose didn't have as strong of a supporting cast as some of his peers. Derrick Rose played alongside only one All-Star, Luol Deng, before he injured his ACL. Meanwhile, Westbrook played with Kevin Durant and James Harden at Oklahoma City, both of whom are future Hall of Famers. And although Golden State was going through a rebuilding phase, Steph Curry still played alongside both Klay Thompson and Draymond Green by his third and fourth seasons. Derrick Rose's MVP season was just the beginning. When you compare his MVP numbers to those of other star point guards like Steph Curry and Russell Westbrook, it can be argued that D. Rose's career trajectory was on a path to even greater heights. It's likely we never saw Derrick Rose in his prime. Although Rose is outperformed in some aspects like points per game and steals, it's important to note that by the time Curry and Westbrook were MVPs, they had four and six more years of NBA experience, respectively. While we don't think Derrick Rose would have developed into a pure shooter in the same way that Curry did, we do think Rose would have further refined his jump shot and improved his field goal and three-point percentages as his career progressed. In addition to his slashing ability and his already unguardable crossover dribble, a more accurate jumper would have made Derrick Rose absolutely devastating for opponents to defend against. Had D. Rose stayed healthy, it's possible that he could have averaged 30 plus points per game and led the league in scoring. After all, he was already averaging 25 PPG in just his third NBA season at the age of 22. Rose likely would have reached his prime around the age of 27 or 28, five or six seasons later. We also think Rose's basketball IQ would have improved with experience. We would have seen his assist to turnover ratio steadily climb and we would have seen a craftier defender with more steals per game. Following that trajectory, a Derrick Rose unhindered by injuries would undoubtedly have been a first ballot Hall of Fame inductee. The Return He returned to action in the 2013-2014 season and fans eagerly anticipated seeing Rose back on the court. He felt like he had regained his own form and even improved upon it, feeling more explosive and claiming a 5-inch increase in his vertical leap. In his first game back, he scored 12 points and dished out 4 assists. However, he struggled initially, shooting just 28.8% from the field. Unfortunately, early into the season, Rose suffered another setback, injuring a meniscus in his right knee. He underwent surgery once again and was sidelined for the remainder of the season. So Rose made his second comeback in the 2014-2015 season. He scored a season-high 32 points, but shortly thereafter, he faced another knee injury. 
it was announced he would undergo another surgery on his right knee due to another meniscus tear. He was expected to be sidelined for four to six weeks and returned to the court in April. The Bulls made the playoffs, marking Rose's first playoff experience since Game 1 of the 2012 playoffs when he tore his ACL. Rose delivered some clutch moments during the playoffs, and the Bulls held a 2-1 lead over the Cavs in the Eastern Conference Semifinals. However, the Cavs ultimately won the series in six games. In the 2015-2016 season, Rose showed glimpses of his old self. He scored a season-high 34 points against the Pistons on December 18th, demonstrating that he was returning to form despite the challenging path he had endured. However, the Bulls did not qualify for the playoffs that season. This marked Derek's final season in a Bulls jersey. In the end, fans were deprived of witnessing the rise of a future Hall of Famer and arguably the most thrilling point guard in NBA history. Looking at the data, Derrick Rose's career progression was quicker than other star point guards like Steph Curry and Russell Westbrook. Rose averaged more points per game and had a better assist to turnover ratio than both Curry and Westbrook early on in their careers. Derrick Rose was already unstoppable off the dribble before his ACL injury. If he had remained healthy, he would likely have refined every aspect of his game through experience, making him an even more lethal basketball player. It's entirely conceivable that Rose could have won multiple MVP awards, topped the league in scoring, and potentially guided the Bulls to their first championship since the Michael Jordan era. As fans reflect on his career, there's a blend of emotions, a mixture of sadness and admiration, pondering the what-if scenarios.